Holy Root Rider spam, that's the first thing he drops. Just all of his Root Riders right away. Battle Blimp, here we go. Welcome back, ladies and gentle toast, to the next matchup today in the Mulan Cup. We got Na'Vi versus Villains. Let's see who's going to be victorious today. Pete Castro going first, as usual. A little Flame Flinger action. Cool. He's got Dragon Riders cooked up again. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. Chibli with the 500 biddies over on Twitch. Ayo, hey, thank you for that support, homie. I appreciate the love. I love you too. Little zap quake action there. Took out an expo, a rage tower. What was the other thing he got? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Still chilling. Being super patient here. King on the bottom side of the base. Queen is in on the left. King gonna go right inside. Help take out the enemy archer queen. Coolio. Coolio. There we go. Pop the ability. King goes back out for the collector that he skipped. Then back inside. He'll take out the scatter shot. Hopefully take out the expo as well. Should be able to. Scatter shot's locked onto the queen right now though. It's gonna do a little bit more damage to her, but she's okay. She's chilling with the unicorn. We got some giants. We got an ice golem making their way inside. We want queen to take out this town. Oh. Queen actually taking a lot of damage from the scatter shot. Kind of unfortunate. We're gonna have to go with the invis spell. That should fix everything though. Road champion on the left with the spirit fox with the giant. Cool. Off the ability, hello healer puppet. LOL. This guy just loves forcing the healer puppet on every attack. Got a rage gym cooked up here for his dragon riders. We're probably gonna go with the early war and ability if I had to guess. Skeleton spell. Not gonna go with the early war and ability. I was wrong. He's gonna hold it a little bit. Champion still has ability and Spirit of Fox. Yes, Queen gonna go down to the single target Inferno Tower, but the healers might actually switch over to the champion. That could be good news. We're still holding on to this war and ability yet. Rocket Balloons out of the Flame Flinger saved one Dragon Rider for the right side flank, and this is looking crushed. This is looking amazing. RC pops ability, takes out that single target Inferno Tower. These Dragon Riders still cruising through the middle section of the base. That is destroyed all day long. Nice plan here from Mr. P. Castro. Looks like Dragon Riders? Could be back in the meta, or is he just forcing it? I don't know, but it works for P. Castro. That's fun. Plenty of time left over. 30 seconds to spare as we get the last building. GG's to the homie. Marimo with some zap quake. Took out a rage tower, an expo, and a monolith. Dragon spam. All right. Here we go. Battle blimp is in. Cool. Oh, Queen just died through ability. What the? Anybody else see that? <laughs> Awkward. Rip the homie's queen. Breeze. Battle Blim gets all the way there. We already found the tornado trap earlier. Town Hall goes down thanks to the rage spell and the troops inside. King has ability. We got a royal champion. Where is she at? She's over here fighting the queen. With no help other Bruh. than a diggy. The RC just killed the queen and that's it. What in the world? He still has a lot of dragons alive, but this was all sorts of wonky. King somehow took out the air defense. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, I said if King somehow takes out the air defense and he was like, I got you fam. He just looked to the side, swiped the wall and splash damaged the air defense and then kept going outside. What? <laughs> Oh, dude, that's got to be a YouTube short right there. <laughs> that was awesome. Dragon's still pushing through, and now that the air defense is dead, thanks to the king, does this have a chance? Does this have a chance? Dragon's moving through. King's going to go down. We're also going to get the phoenix here from the king to help join forces in the air with the dragons. Really, all we have to worry about is the scatter shot, the multi-archer tower, and traps. Got like three or four dragons alive. Got the warden, got the owl, got the phoenix. Uh, an entire 60 seconds on the clock. This might work. This might work. He lost a bunch of dragons there. Ugh. The other one's low as well. The phoenix is the only thing healthy right now, and she's distracting the scatter shot. This might get really close. She's distracting the scatter shot, and the scatter shot's not hitting anything else. Oh, don't tell me they're gonna go for the storage first, bro. This is gonna be a 98. 
It was so close, but he's not gonna get it, is he? Rip the homie. That multi archer tower saves the day for Gaku. It's a 98%. Dima is in with his root rider spam. Yeah, bring some baby dragons this time. To help funnel a little bit. We got the healing tome. We got the frozen arrow. We got the gauntlet. Cool, cool, cool. Spam everything from the top side of the base. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Here we go. Log launcher making its way through. Freezy spell is in. Poison spell as well. Log launcher just slowly getting us through all the way to the town hall. The walls are already open. Root riders open walls anyway, so it doesn't matter. He's being patient with the warden ability here. Not popping it right away. Skeleton spell on the right side. Royal champion with the icy foxy thing over there. Words are hard. Pop the king ability. Queen working on the town hall as well. Apprentice Warden still alive. We got through the enemy hero over here, the royal champion, I think. Now we're getting through the scatter shot. A lot of those root riders are very healthy. King getting through the town hall. We already popped his ability. He gets wrecked. Still a lot of base to get through, but he's got quite a few spells. Quite a few spells to do it. And the root riders stay in front of the champion and tank for her as long as she keeps going invisible. Yes, yeah, Spirit Fox is very healthy, chilling in the background. That's good news, so she does not get targeted. Free freezes, a skeleton, and a rage. We're going to use one freeze early. Probably save everything else for this backside toxic compartment with the queen. If there's no traps, this is for sure. Three star. Even if there are traps, I think he gets this, right? I think it's crushed. And I'm just silly and don't recognize it yet. Super barbs. Skeleton spell deployed. Oh, yeah. This is absolutely destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Navi are going to be two for two. He's already got plenty of time for cleanup. Got one wizard, some skellies on the bottom, or on the right. Super barbs on the bottom. Probably didn't even need to use all those spells there. Got the champion ability if you want it. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. Thank you, ma'am. I think Dima's the only Navi player that's still perfect at Town Hall 16. That's funny, because he's not even on their main lineup. LOL. Root Riders OP. GG's to the homie. Villains are in with Queen and Healers. Root Riders for later. Fluffy Walls with 100 biddies over on Twitch. Hey yo, thank you for that support, homie. UOP. Love you long time. What do we got here? We got, ooh, Frozen Arrow maxed out. Akovillo been using some gems. Hopefully he used code Lexnos, but he forgot to get his giant gauntlet last month or the month before, whenever it was. What the hell? Rage Gem maxed out as well. We got a recall spell. Take note of that. We recall the queen the heck out of there. Now the Flame Flinger will actually be able to get quite a few things. Okay. Okay. Their first attack was a 98%. So if they triple here, they're still looking okay. Still looking okay. Queen gonna go toward the town hall now. A nice little wall breaker gonna give her a direct pathing. We do have the invis tower there to worry about. King already deployed on the right side of the base. Flame Flinger putting in work on the left side. There's a ragey spell. Freeze at the perfect timing. Nice. Sticky Goblin in there. Pulled some of the CC troops, some of the archers. Does the Invis Tower still get go off? No. This is weird. Freeze the Monolith. Freeze the Queen again. Ice Golems are actually going toward the King right now. A lot of things happening at once. Here we go with the Root Rider spam on the right side of the base with the Rage Gym, with the Apprentice Warden, with the Grand Warden, Invis Tower going off. Makes the defense of Ice Golem invisible as well. Queen gets the Expo. He's using every single freeze he has on that Monolith. All right. All right. Into the Rage. And Warden ability. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Should be wrecked, right? He's got a lot of Root Riders alive. Road Champion, very healthy. Flame Flinger Troops about to come out and help. We do got to backtrack a little bit for that Ricochet Cannon, which could be awkward. That Ricochet Cannon is actually doing a lot of damage to his Root Riders. He goes with the Invis build to try to keep the Grand Warden alive. Gonna have to pop the Queen ability here because of the Scattershot Expo, Combo Wombo Trombo. There goes her ability. 
He lost every single Root Rider, but the Royal Champion might save the day. Two more Root Riders. Ba coming in for backup from the Flame Flinger. That's looking nice. But he's actually out of time. What the heck? I never even looked at the clock. <clears throat> he's out of time? Oh, rip the homie. Ten seconds to go. Queen gets the Wizard Tower. She'll wrap around the walls. RC ability almost clutched up. Sneaky Goblin. Archer. Hold on. Queen, hurry. If she goes for the perfect gold mine. Queen, two, one. No! Another 98? Bro, both their attacks. Gaku is in. With holy Root Rider spam. That's the first thing he drops. Just all of his Root Riders right away. Battle Blimp. Here we go. Rage Gym. Frozen Arrow. He's doing zap spells in the meantime. He's got a Poison Tower, a Multi Archer Tower, something else. I think the Monolith. Battle Blimp makes it to the Town Hall, finds the Tornado Trap. We got a Rage Spell. And he gets the Town Hall. Root Riders on the left are chilling. Barb King over here. We got a couple Super Barbs to help out. Queen went up by herself. Expo locks on. She's taking a lot of damage, so it goes with the freeze. He's multitasking like a boss now. Already used almost all his spells. Only has one skeleton spell remaining. Sends the champion also. Gaku trying to go for a speedy attack. What in the world? What in the world? Use the last skeleton spell there on the single target Inferno Tower. That's probably a good call. It's starting to fizzle out on the bottom side at least. Lost all the Root Riders over there. We still have one in the core, one on the top side. All four heroes are still alive. Although the Warden's only on one HP. RC fights the enemy RC. She was inside the Rage Gym for a second there while she was doing that. So she had 50% extra damage. She makes it through the enemy champion. Gets a few extra things with her ability. King popping his ability. Got the Gauntlet Bug right now. So he's invincible. But we get every defense on the bottom side. Just got to go back around for the top side. Warded on 1 HP. Queen's going to have to pop her ability because of the Expo. But I think he's got this. I think he's got this. That was a interesting plan. It's not normally how people do the, the Root Rider spam. Usually you come like directly opposite of the Town Hall. Gaku picked like a corner. Just spammed everything in the corner with a blimp. But it works. Navi are three for three. E.T. Tio with a lot of Root Rider spam. Oh boy. Here we go. Skeleton spells, Root Riders. Let's do it. This time we're going straight at the Town Hall. Straight at it. Not from the backside, not from a corner like Gaku. He says, give me that Town Hall right away. I need that first star. There's a Rage Bell. When do we pop a Warden ability? We got the Healing Tome maxed out. Got the normal Queen stuff, the Gauntlet on the King. No Frozen Arrow. There's a couple more Skeleton spells he could deploy here. Gonna freeze the single target Inferno Towers though. Royal Champion and Drill in from the bottom right. Here we go. Here we go. Headhunter takes out the enemy Archer Queen on the bottom side of the base. There's a freeze. There's another freeze. Fear Fox continuing to go invisible. Battle Drill distracting. Stunning defenses. Skeleton Spell distracting the Monolith. We still got one more we could deploy. We should have the Gauntlet Bug whenever he pops King ability. King at full health though. Chilling. Chilling like a villain. Last Skeleton Spell over there by the Monolith as well after the other one expired. It's fizzling out, but the heroes are going to carry. Heroes will finish it off, right? King ability going off. He's invincible. Five ever. Queen pops her ability. She'll get the expo. King going in for the monolith. We still got the champion with ability. Invisible. Moving around the outer edge of the base. And two root riders kind of lagging behind. He's got it. Tornado trap spinning us in circles for now. Finally, a three star for team villains. Their other two attacks were 98%. So close, man. But now they're on the board. Now they have a chance. But they kind of have to get defenses on the last two attacks from Navi. We'll see what happens. GG's on this one, Mr. Gamer. Stars is in. With some Lalo, six lightning spells, and an earthquake. Get rid of the Expo, the Inferno Tower, and got the Queen right away. We got one Golem to help out with this Sui. Queen with the Frozen Arrow on the left side of the base. Coolio, Coolio, Coolio. Life Gym on the Grand Warden. If Stars triples here, the war is pretty much over as long as Klaus doesn't one star. He has one star before, so I don't know. Anything could happen. King on the top side. This Warden statue locked onto the Queen. It's a little awkward. We might need a spell. Are you paying attention, Mr. Stars? Oh, Frozen Arrow. Oh my gosh, she did not use the ability. Bro, and he didn't even waste a spell. <laughs> guy's a gamer. He knows better than me. 
Alright, never mind. Scattershot forces her ability. <laughs> Maybe a spell would have been worth it. I don't know. We ain't gonna have to fight the CC troops. She might just die right there to a scattershot here in a second. Yep. Maybe. I think she does. King popping ability takes out the Royal Champion on the right side of the base. Can the Yetis from the Log Launcher take out at least one of the scatter shots, please? At least one of them? Yeti Mites, go to the right scatter shot. We send the, the Golem is late. Did he forget to use his Golem? Awkward. Royal Champion, I mean, maybe the Golem distracts for the Royal Champion, kind of. That actually kind of works. Lalo from the bottom side, he's multitasking like a boss now. Here we go, try to watch both at the same time. Golem distracting the scatter shot. Lalo getting into the town hall section. That lava hound that flew across the map. Pulled a lot of red air bombs. We popped the warren ability. Got one or two balloons on the town hall, but with the rage spell, that should be enough. Down goes the town hall. More balloons on the left. Pick up the air defense. Royal champion somehow still alive. We got two more freezes. This went from looking wonky to he still triples with swag because he's stars. And he probably didn't even need the golem at all. He could have swagged it for extra bonus points. What a gamer. What a gamer. He does make it look easy indeed. Nicely done, Mr. Stars. Did he forget the golem? We're going to say he forgot the golem because maybe that's a thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know. But nice attack. They are four for four. Oh my gosh, he got... He got bamboozled by a corner building. Good thing he's got like an entire minute left over. Nice job. Ran. Ran? Ron? Villains are in. Queen charge, root riders. Frozen arrow. Rage gym. Kidoki. Okie dokie. Wall breaker, sure. Rage spell, okie dokie. Chum balloons to get the wizard tower. Very nice. Very nice. Queen takes out the builder. Uh, flame flinger gets the air defense. Headhunter. Rage. Cool. Yeti and Headhunter take out the enemy queen over here so the Scattershot can still keep going. Yeti also distracts the Multi-Mortar. I don't know if the Multi-Mortar is splashing the Flinger as well. I don't think it is. Hoggers. Single target Inferno Tower. Poison Tower though. Queen's looking a little uh, sketchy. We're going to Rage and Freeze. King Root Riders. Royal Champion from the right side of the base with the Apprentice Ward and the Rage Gym to help out. Queen going for everything but the single. I actually don't think you needed the Freeze now that you, she's on it and you got the Frozen Arrow. Might have been a waste of a freeze. Oh well, who cares? King fighting the enemy champion. He takes her out pretty easily. This is looking pretty decent. It's a good setup. A good setup. King moving around the outside of the base. Single target front tower locks on. We might just pop a ward ability here in a second. We're going to freeze first. He's being patient with it. Skeleton spell and poison right here where the CC troops are coming out. Rage spell is in. Still got the ward ability, man. Bring it the queen and the healers in the ward ability. Oh, this is nice. Queen in, in the Warden Aura now with the Rage Gym doing 50% extra damage as well. Healers are doing 50% extra healation. I made that word up, but it sounds cool. Invis spell and Queen will take out the single. We pop her ability, she'll get the Ricochet Cannon as well. This is crushed all day long. All day long. It was a simple plan, but man, this was executed well. Executed very well. Team Villains here actually looking like a solid team, dude. Too bad they got two 98% attacks. That's unfortunate. If even just one of those had tripled, they'd still have a very real chance right now. Klaus Nose is in. With Super Hog Riders. Oh, don't tell me he's going to steal the thumbnail again. It's kind of off meta these days. I don't know. Eight Super Hog Riders, 11 normal hoggies, five lightning spells, and an early battle blimp. That quake on the right takes out a multi arch tower and a scatter shot. Down the hall is going to go down to the battle blunt troops and the rage belt. Yes, barely. Oh my gosh. It looked like it was the very last Yeti might that got it. Jeez. DC troops going over to the queen. She already took a lot of damage from the headhunters, but she's chilling now with the help of the E Titan. All right. All right. Queen takes the air defense. It's walking to the right. A couple of Teslas are a little awkward. We got an Apprentice Warden chilling with the Queen. Let's go. King Phoenix, Baby Dragon. We do have, we do not have the Frozen Arrow. Klaus still hasn't unlocked the Frozen Arrow, dude. That's kind of interesting. 
Rage Gem on the Grand Warden. King already gonna go to ability down south. Expo locking onto the Ice Golem. There's the Grand Warden with the Queen. Cool. Cool. Super Piggies are in with the champion. Here we go. Everybody gonna work together now. It's very interesting to choose Hog Riders over Root Riders though. They're basically the exact same thing, but Root Riders are just like twice as good. <laughs> but let's see if the Piggies work. He pops the Warden ability, we got the Rage spell, we got the Rage Gym, we got the Freeze spell. Here's the difference between Hog Riders and Root Riders. Root Riders would still be alive. Hog Riders are all dying. He's got like two left. Never mind, make it zero left. LOL. Queen's still alive on the outside of the base. It's up to the Royal Champion and the Spirit Fox to lead the charge now. There's a freeze for the Monolith. RC still has ability. Queen still has ability. This this has a chance, honestly. Monolith locks onto the Grand Warden. Monolith goes down. That's a three-star, bro. That's a three-star. Klaus makes it work. Hey, yo. Uh... RC's going to stay alive as well. She's still got the Spirit Fox going invisible. Queen doesn't even need her ability. We pop it there for fun points. It's going to be another perfect war for Na'Vi. GG's. I don't know who to give the thumbnail to. kind of want to give it to Klaus, but we're going to have like three Klaus thumbnail videos in a row. I might give it to Stars anyway. Jeez. Villain from Villains. Final attack of the match. Two lightning spells for an air sweeper and dragon spam. Let's do it. Rage Gym. Throws an arrow. Gauntlet. Pop that war and ability. Battle Blim Soren across the map. Rage Tower on defense. Super Minion Bomb. Okay. I can dig it. Clone Spells. Super Minions all on the left side of the base trying to blow everything up. They get the Monolith. They're going to get a Ricochet Cannon. They're going to get a bunch of other stuff. He can get the Inferno Tower. He's not going to get the Town Hall. It's a little awkward. Got to rely on other stuff to get it later. Uh, it might be really awkward. You got the Yak with the King. What in the world? Yak OP? I think. Maybe. The Yak needs a little love, I guess. Dragon's trying to get through all these defenses on the right side, but they're thinning out like crazy. Not that many dragons left alive. He goes to Queen Ability there as well. This is actually looking really sketchy. Got one free spell. That's a King Ability. Does have the Gauntlet. Since Royal Champion from the right side, he's going all or nothing right now. King ability with the gauntlet. Is that enough? We get through the town hall. We got to get through the king first. We don't have the phoenix, remember. That's why this is sketchy. But he still gets it. He still gets it. And RC can clean house with the spirit fox. I think she can get everything by herself now. That's a triple. That's a triple. Oh, this poor team, man. Their only two fails were both 98%. They almost had a perfect war as well. If we're being honest. Wow, wow, wow. We'll watch the cleanup on this one because it's the last attack of the match. I want to see the stats. I think it's going to be 15, 13, 100% to 99.2. Some OP Lex math right there. Got to start getting good at math again since I'm going back to school in the summer. Yep, 99.2.